A new podcast from the University of Virginia's Repair Lab explores the intersection of racism and sea level rise in Norfolk. Adrian Wood reported and produced the podcast called Wading Between Two Titans. Kim Sutterth is a Norfolk climate organizer who helped with the project. WHRO spoke with both of them. So Adrian, let's start with you. Tell me about your interest in this topic and what you set out hoping to accomplish with the podcast. I started as multimedia producer in this position in January 2022. So I started learning about sea level rise and housing in the Hampton Roads area at that time to sort of begin my deep foray into those topics. I have a background as an environmental justice organizer and advocate in pipeline struggle in Virginia and beyond. And Kim, tell me a little bit about your experience as a climate activist in Hampton Roads and what your role is with this project. I became an organizer in 2016. I didn't know what an organizer was. I essentially have been an organizer for much of my life, just as a mother and being directly affected by climate change here locally. Part of my job was to talk to people, specifically women and mothers, who were concerned about a livable climate for their children's future. So thinking of two titans, I grew up watching Godzilla movies, so I thought of it in the same way. The people, they might get trampled below the gentrification monster and the climate change monsters. While they're fighting it out, it's the people who get trampled below. How did you go about tackling this topic and what did you do throughout your reporting? I really drew a lot on uh, the dozens of hours of tape interviews that I recorded with residents of Norfolk, elected officials, experts and advocates. And that helped me get to understand those processes and wheels that were already in motion around those problems of sea level rise and housing. Adrian, you mentioned in the first episode that you had to learn the right way to say Norfolk. I wonder if you can tell us how it was to learn more about this area and any challenges you encountered as a sort of outsider. I have learned since then that there is no right way to pronounce the name of the city. There are wrong ways to pronounce it. It was, it's been a beautiful and deeply enriching experience to be able to visit Norfolk and get to know people there to build relationship and connection. People have been so profoundly generous with me, with educating me about their lives. You covered a lot with this podcast. What do you think are the biggest takeaways and what surprised you the most? In episode three and four, we talk about the St. Paul's transformation and the Ohio Creek Watershed Project, respectively. And some of my investigations around those projects were surprising to me and I think to others in learning about some of the unintended consequences of very well-meaning and pure-intentioned projects. It can just be a double-edged sword. I went into this not expecting to be surprised. And we had a, a really great conversation about um, the neighborhood that I live in right now in Berkeley. And, you know, for whatever reason, I didn't realize that this neighborhood was initially all white. As Black people began to move in, that's when you saw the white flight and further devaluation of the community. So that really, um, I was surprised to um, to to know I cried maybe five minutes into the first episode. It's, it sounded like home. 